President Obama returning to the White House after an emotional trip to Connecticut with him on board Air Force One. Twelve families who lost loved ones in the Newtown shooting. They had come to Washington to meet with lawmakers who flew back to New York to get new gun control measures. ABC's Ty Hernandez explains what's at stake. Good morning, Ty. The president spoke at the University of Hartford just 50 miles from Newtown, Connecticut, a reference he made over and over again in his speech. Before an enthusiastic crowd, President Obama evoked the dark days following the Newtown massacre, framing gun control not as a legal issue, but a moral obligation. Newtown, we want you to know that we're here with you. We will not walk away from the promises we've made. We are as determined as ever to do what must be done. But even before the president reached the podium, signs of a bumpy road ahead. On Capitol Hill, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid announced he received a letter from 13 Republicans vowing a filibuster on any measure curbing guns. The bill currently before the Senate would expand background checks for gun purchases, add tougher penalties for gun trafficking, and more money for school safety, measures some Republicans say simply would not work. Even if you had all your uh, universal background check, bad guys are going to get guns and it's not going to solve the problem in the schools. In Connecticut, the president walking a fine line, insisting gun control is not about politics while trying to drum up political pressure. As soon as this week, Congress will begin debating these common sense proposals to reduce gun violence. But much of Congress is going to only act if they hear from you, the American people. Congress will also hear directly from Newtown families. Several of them flew back with the president on Air Force One to Washington to continue the lobbying effort as it intensifies on both sides.